All right, so you've gone through the process of trying to determine what IA topic you want to cover, and you think you want to do modeling. This is the video for you. What does a math IA focused on modeling look like? First off, why might you have chosen modeling? Maybe you're curious about some phenomenon that you see or that you witness or that you observe or that, that you're a part of. Maybe you want to use mathematics to describe something that occurs in your life. So maybe uh, you know you're a rugby player and you want to see what's happening when you kick when you try and kick a point, or you're a soccer player or a football player, depending on what part of the world you live in, uh, and you're trying to see the best arc for kicking a goal or a curve or something like that. But whatever it is, you want to describe something that you experience or that you're a part of in your day-to-day -day life or one of your passions. And then finally, you want to use data to predict a future outcome of some sort. So how does that factor into the IA? Well, let's talk about what the IA is all about first. Remember that the IA is all about your thinking and understanding of mathematics. It's also really about the process in getting from raw data to a conclusion. And keep in mind that it is rarely about the answer. So if you're, you're not trying to say, I got to this answer, therefore I am correct, you could have a hypothesis. You could be thinking one thing, and after you go through this whole process, you might come out with a different conclusion. That is absolutely okay. You just want to document that process that you go through to get to that conclusion. So what does that mean? What are you going to include in your IA? Well, you should discuss what you are wanting to model and why. And this is part of the personal engagement. This is where you show your expertise in the scenario. You know, one of the things that uh, I like to have my students read is the horse jumping IA example that IB has released. Ask your teacher to show that to you if they haven't, if you haven't seen it. But when you read through that IA, you can tell that that person knows a lot about horse jumping. So I, I can see that in their writing. They don't have to say, I've always loved horse riding. I've always done that, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to have any of that. You want to be able to see it in the writing. It should come through in your writing. And that's why you are the expert in this. And that's where your personal engagement will come through. The next thing you want to uh, discuss is the method of your data collection. There's a lot of different ways to gather data. And you want to make sure you're documenting that. Maybe you're recording something with a video uh, and you're plotting points over time. Cool. Explain how you're doing that. Maybe you're gathering data from, uh, from observing uh, traffic patterns. Cool. Talk about how you're going to do that. Maybe you need to gather data for, uh, from your peers. Cool. How are you going to do that? All of these different things bring in possibilities of bias, they bring in possibilities of invalid data, they bring in possibilities of sample sizes, which is really, you know, it, that while that tends to lean a little bit more towards the statistics-based IA, it's always something good to include when you talk about how you gathered your data and that you're not just taking data and running with it, that you're giving it some critical thought as you build this uh, model. The other thing that, that often comes up is the various models that you attempted and why you should or should not apply them to your IA. If you think about a part of a curve, maybe not the whole graph, but if you think about a quadratic and you think about an exponential and you think about uh, maybe the beginning or uh, the half, I guess it'd be the last fourth of a sine graph, they're all going to look the same. They all have this same kind of curve going up, right? So how do you know which model it is? Why are you choosing that model? Uh, did you try different models to see if they fit one fits better than another? These are things that you want to discuss in your IA. Then you want to make sure that you're showing your knowledge. Uh, talk about the key aspects of the different families of functions, like I was just talking about with the three different types of curves. The different aspects of those different families of functions are going to help you determine, should I, should I use this model or should I not? Is it appropriate to use this model or not? It's not just about fitting the data perfectly. You're not going to get the data to go through every single point but it should be a close fit and it should be an appropriate model for that scenario. 
you should be discussing any constraints of your model. What that means, are there limitations to the model that you've chosen? So maybe you've now gone through that process of what are the aspects of those different families of functions and okay, I'm going to choose this one, but here is an here are some of the issues that I might have with choosing this model. Here's some of the reasons why this model may be the best bet. Here are some of the reasons why this model may not be the best bet. You want to talk about all those things. And then maybe even consider would a piecewise function be more appropriate for you? A piecewise function is when you've got a, a one function for a certain set of a certain domain of your values and then another function for another set and so on. So maybe you've got a curve and then it goes flat. So you're going to have, you're not going to just take one, uh, one equation through that. Maybe you've got a quadratic and then a linear. And why would you want to choose those two different types of functions and put them together as a piecewise function? That's something to discuss as well in your IA. That's really the long and short of the modeling IA. It's all about your passion. It's all about your interest and how you're gathering data and which family of functions you're using to model this data. And then what did that do for you now that you've modeled this, this kick, this, this hit, this whatever it is. Um, but keep in mind, while you're doing this, while you're going through this whole thing, the IA is all about your thinking and understanding of what you are discussing. So if you just apply a model to it and be done, that's not going to get you high marks. You need to go through the process of why and how and why again and how again and so on and so forth. All about the process of getting from that raw data, those initial ideas, to your conclusion. So that's what I want you to focus on. If you're looking at this and you're thinking, well, maybe modeling isn't the one that I want to do, or maybe you're just jumping in and saying, I wanted to do modeling, but I'm not sure. Again, go check out this video here uh, where I discuss how to come up with your own math IA topic. And uh, you could also check out my other videos where I discuss uh, statistics or probability or calculus and how to do a math IA on those. I hope that was helpful. If it was, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like the video, share it with some of your friends, and I'll see you in the next video.